Hello there, I'm artist Aaron Rutten, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing the new Wacom Intuos Art tablet that you can use for drawing and painting on your computer. It's a pretty cool tablet, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside this box and what you get when you purchase this tablet. Now this comes in several different flavors depending on the kind of artist that you are. This is the art version, so this is primarily for artists and digital painters who are going to be doing a lot of kind of fine art painting. If you were making comic books, you would probably want the Intuos comic. If you're doing photo editing, you'd probably want the Intuos photo. And if you're kind of a beginner and you're not really sure if you are gonna stick with digital art, you could go ahead and get the Intuos draw. That's kind of the most basic version. But any tablet made by Wacom is a good tablet. So let's go ahead and crack open this box. I'm gonna to need to cut the tape on the bottom. Now I haven't used this tablet yet. This is gonna be my first time seeing what's inside this box. If we take a look inside the box, it's very nicely packaged. That's one thing I appreciate about Wacom tablets is, you know, the packaging is nice. So we have our pen. Now, the first thing I'll notice about this pen, I'm gonna make a few observations based on my experience with older generations of this tablet. This pen is a lot smaller. This is a tiny, tiny pen. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing yet because I'm gonna to have to try this out, but it feels like my hand is just doubled in size because I'm used to using this pen for my Wacom Cintiq, which is quite a bit bigger and thicker and heavier. There's also no eraser on the end, so if you're concerned about having an eraser, you might want one of the older versions like the Wacom Intuos Creative Pen and Touch, or you could get the Wacom Intuos Pro, which has an eraser as well. So along with the pen, there's also the tablet, which is sealed in this plastic case here. Let's go ahead and set that down. So the tablet is very thin and sleek. I'll do another video where I compare this to the older version of this tablet, but my first impression is this looks a lot nicer than it does in the pictures. This is a pretty slick looking tablet. It's very unified in its presentation. There's a panel on the back with some little stoppers that kind of grip your table, so if you're drawing, your tablet's not gonna slide around. Let's see what this panel does. I bet you anything, if we slide this, it'll slide up and out and nothing on the back side of the panel but look there's some replacement nibs for your pen right there so you have three replacement nibs and the nib that comes with your tablet if you want to know how to get the nib out there's this little silver hole here and you use this to grip and pull the nib out so i'm going to do that here i'm going to insert the nib into the hole here and I'm gonna kind of pull it against the side to kind of grip it. it. Takes a little bit of effort, but you just kind of pull it against the side and it'll grab the nib and the nib will slide out like so. And it'll fall on your floor, so be careful. And the nib is just a little piece of plastic. And again, these should last you quite a while. One nib lasts me about six months to a year and I draw pretty much every single day. If you wanna put the nib back in, you want to put the flat end inside the hole and you want the rounded end to be the end that you're drawing with. You just put it in the hole there and you push down until it kind of stays in on its own and the nib is replaced. Etched onto the back of the tablet are instructions that tell you what all these different things do. And it actually says right here you can use a security cable to lock your tablet. So that's what that little lock does. It also tells you about the wireless adapter and all the other things on the back. So that's actually pretty cool. And then you have a little compartment right here where you can store the wireless receiver for your tablet. That just kind of clips back on there. And then you have the wireless module area. Now, this particular tablet doesn't come with the wireless module, but you could buy this separately, insert it in here, and then you can use this tablet wirelessly but by default it plugs in through a USB cable, which we'll take a look at in a minute. I think the USB connection is a lot safer to use. So I'm gonna slide this little panel on the back. Slides down, stays in place. There's a little thing here, a little holder. That's for your pen. So that's a pretty snug fit for your pen. This pen is not gonna go anywhere. It was really hard to get the pen in there but now I see why they made it so tight so it'll actually hold your pen and it's not gonna, see it's not gonna fall out even if I shake it. I mean, of course, you know, you start whipping this thing around a lot, it might fly out of there, but these pens, 
they don't really have too many sensitive parts in them, so you can drop them, you know, you don't have to worry about breaking them. You definitely don't want to, like, get it wet or step on it or bend it or anything like that, but they're pretty durable pens. On the side here, we have a little switch that will let you turn the touch on and off. And touch means that you can touch this tablet and you can move your mouse cursor around. I'll have another video coming up soon where I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to install and use this tablet and I'll go over what the touch actually does there. But you can do things like zoom in and out just like you can on an iPad or a smartphone. And then on the side we have a little compartment. If I just move the pen out of the way, we can see that better. This just kind of slides out and you'll have a little tiny USB thing that plugs into your computer, into your USB port, and that transmits the wireless signal. So this is just a way that you can store this if you were taking this out with your laptop and you wanted to take that little receiver piece out so it's safe, you can put it right here in this little compartment. On the front of the tablet we have express keys. There are two on each side, so four in total. And you can program these keys to do things like undo, or pan your page, or select your brush. I mean, you can really set them to do any shortcut that you can program into your computer. These are really handy to have, and they feel really nice. They don't, they're not really obtrusive in any way. They're kind of sunken into the tablet, and they feel really seamless, like your finger just kind of smoothly glides right over there so you can get to them. They're at a diagonal, and I think that makes them easier to select, so you can tell which button is which. On the side of the pen, there are two buttons that you can pre-program to do whatever you want. By default, it's usually right-click. Then you could make this other button to pan your page or erase. You could do lots of different things with this. It's kind of like having two of these little express key shortcut keys on your pen. And then on the front of the tablet, there's kind of a rough, kind of grippy surface so that you can really hold this and it's not going to slip out of your hand. And then on the active area right here on the tablet, it's smoother. Now it feels kind of slick and smooth. Let's see how the pen feels against it. Now it has a little bit of grain to it. Now it's not like sandpaper, but it feels and kind of sounds like paper if you were drawing with a real pencil on a real piece of paper. So this gives you some friction while you're drawing because you need friction when you're drawing, yeah, when you're using a real pencil or a real ink pen or a real paintbrush, there's some friction. And that helps you draw smoother lines and it just feels more natural. So you don't want a tablet with a surface that's too slick. Like a tablet like a iPad, that surface is way too slick. It doesn't feel very natural. So this is a very nice surface. It is eventually going to wear down your nibs because of friction and that's why you have replacement nibs. Now you can avoid wearing this nib down too quickly by not drawing on it really aggressively for a long period of time because that heat is going to wear down your tablet nib. You should find other ways to paint more efficiently and I have some videos you can watch on that. The active drawing area on this is eight and a half inches wide by 5.3 inches tall. So that's a pretty good size. You know, that's bigger than my hand. It feels like kind of a sketchbook size. I wouldn't recommend going much smaller than this if you're going to be doing a lot of drawing and illustrating by hand because it's nice to have a lot of gesture space when you're drawing. You don't want to only be limited to drawing with your fingers or your wrist. You want to be able to draw with your elbow, your whole arm, and that'll help you draw smoother lines and circles and things like that. This has 1,024 levels of pen pressure, so the harder you press your pen down, the thicker or more opaque you can make your line. They do have tablets that have more pen pressure than that, but I think this is an adequate amount of pen pressure for most artists. This particular pen does not support pen tilt. If you wanted a pen that recognizes pen tilt, then you would want a tablet like the Intuos Pro. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this uses a USB cable, so we can see that here. It's packaged nicely. Some little caps on the end to protect it. So this is just your standard USB cable that would plug into your computer on the front or on the back. Now, you probably would wanna hopefully plug it into the front of your computer because the cable is not terribly long. I would say it's about four, maybe five feet long. The Intuos Pro does have a much longer cable, so if that makes a difference to you, you'd probably wanna go with that model instead. And we also have a driver CD and manual, and it just gives you some basic instructions. It says, 
put this disk into your computer and it'll install the drivers. Now you need to install the drivers for this tablet to work. It's not gonna work until you install the driver. Now, a lot of computers don't have a disk drive. No worries, because if you have an internet connection, you can go to wacom.com and look under the drivers section and you can download the latest version of the driver for this tablet. And I recommend that you go ahead and do that because the latest driver is gonna be better than the driver that's on this CD here. This is probably an older driver. We have some warranty information here and then the instruction guide. And I recommend that you just go ahead and read this instruction guide, even if you just skim it, because there could be some things that you need to do to make it work or some things that you need to avoid doing because it might break the tablet. And then last but not least, let's talk about bundled software. There's a little insert that they put in here that talks about the bundled software. Now this particular tablet, the Intuos Art, comes with Corel Painter Essentials, and Corel Painter Essentials is kind of the light version of Corel Painter. You can do some basic digital painting. It's a pretty good program if you've never done digital painting before. You'll probably want something better than that if you're a professional, but there's lots of different programs, free and paid, that you can get. So uh, Art Rage would be one. Corel Painter is my favorite. You could look into Krita, which is free, and there's a few other different free programs out there that you can get. Now, that's for U.S. customers, and depending on what country you live in, the bundled software might be different. There may or may not be any bundled software, so you'll definitely want to check and make sure. If you need to email Wacom, you can do that. Now, this is just going to be an unboxing video, and that's pretty much everything that was in the box, and that gives you an idea of what it comes with. Now, if you want to watch my next video on how to install the tablet and get it working and figure out what it does and how to draw with it, you can do that. I'll put a link to that video down below so that you can watch it. So that brings us to the end of this unboxing video for the Wacom Intuos Art. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I have tons and tons of free videos that'll show you how to draw with this tablet. And if you want to learn more about the other kinds of tablets, I have lots of reviews about those as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.